Hello everyone, Rodney Daterfield Cousin come to you live via webcam from my parody entertainment show. An a white man, a David Gruber, 43, he's an elementary school principal, has been busted on drug charges. Uh, the police sent an undercover agent in on him to buy some drugs from him and then they got a search warrant for his home in St. Cloud, Florida and they found some methamphetamines, marijuana, GHB, and charged him with drug paraphernalia. He's a principal. He's 43 years old. He's, he's a goddamn white man. A lot of black people always say, Rodney Dangerfield, you always put the black man on your show. Put a goddamn white man on your show. I said, well, if a goddamn white man does something stupid, I'll put him on my show. I will do it. And uh, now, you're going to hear the rest of the story after I tell you my disclaimer. Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty, and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty, and everything in my parody entertainment show is a parody. Do not take anything I say seriously. Do not take anything I say personal. Do not try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first and then still don't do it. I'm a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say and everything in my parody entertainment show is science fiction. It's all make-believe and my whole show is for entertainment purposes only and everything I say cannot be verified. If for some reason you disagree with my disclaimer, right now is the time to get your happy ass off my show. I don't want you to hear a thing I got to say in my parody entertainment show. That's your final notice. Get your happy ass down the road if you think this is serious. It's, it's all make-believe and everything I say cannot be verified. Now anyways, let's get back to this David Groover, he's 43 years of age. He was a elementary school principal, and I don't know what he was thinking about, but uh, white man's law is real powerful now. You know, you can't sell dope because somebody's gonna snitch on you. You just you just can't do it, and it cares a lot of time. And he he was booked in the Osceola County Jail in Florida and uh, he, he, you know, uh, something, something wrong with him somewhere. He, he looked like he's just a normal guy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the white man's law says you, you can't sell this dope. This dope makes people go crazy. And I, I want to break away from there, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. You know my cousin. He don't get no respect. It seemed like after he passed on, the monkey jumped onto my back. Everywhere I go, I don't get no respect. I went to, I'm 64 years old, and I went to buy me a pack of cigarettes, and a bitch boy was behind the counter. He carded me for ID. I said, hey, pal, I'm 64 years old bitch boy carded me. Then I went to get me a six pack of beer. Another bitch boy was behind the counter. He carded me. I said, hey pal, I'm 64 years old. Bitch boy carded me. Then I went to a family restaurant to get my food and I went to pay for my meal and there's another bitch boy behind the counter and uh, he was charging me full price. I said, hey pal, I want my senior citizens discount. You know, you just got to be 55 to get your senior citizens discount at these restaurants. I tell you, I don't get no respect. And then I took my, uh, I told my wife I'd like to get laid every once in a while. And my wife said the only way I can get laid is crawl up a chicken's ass. And one day I was fixing to make love to my wife. And she was just laying on the bed in a deep stare. I said, honey. What's wrong? You can't think of anyone to fantasize who you had sex with while we make love? She said, no. I said, fuck it, neither can I. We didn't even make love. And I took my wife to a dude ranch and she left me for it too. 
I tell you, I don't get no respect. And then I went on the internet to freepornphonesex.com. All it is is a recording of a girl. She'll say, hey, lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? If we was alone together, I'll unzip your pants. I can't tell you everything she will say on this show. But I have to say, it got my dangling excited. So I called a live service and she said my voice was too ugly for her to talk to over the telephone. And, uh, you know, I tell you, I don't get no respect. A bitch boy come up to me and said, Ronnie Dangerville cousin, do you belong to the hair club for men? I said, no. I tell you, I don't get no respect. Anyways, I needed to generate some money. My brother had bought a 55 Chevrolet back in 1955 for $1,850. He drove it for 20 years, then he gave it to me. I drove it for 20 years. It had been sitting up on the family farm for over 25 years. And I put it on a website called freebuysaletradeanything.com on that website. You can put anything you have for sale that's legal on there one time and then it'll keep reposting on the Mars calendar indefinitely until you sell it. And I put that 55 Chevy on there for $3,000 and I sold it. And uh, I gave my brother all his money back that he paid for the car because I sold it for 3000 and I went on and gave him the 1850 back he sold, he paid for the car. And, uh, you know, I recommend this free buy, sell, trade, anything.com. You put anything you have for sale that's legal on that and it'll just keep reposting until you sell it. It's free to put your ad on there and it's, it's, uh, it's free to look. So I don't think you can beat that. On that same site, they got a personal section where you can advertise for love and I put an ad on there. I went on to divorce my wife. I was having a lot of problems out of her. We was two opposite and uh, first we fought and we made up real easy but at the end we just couldn't make up. You know, we fight, we couldn't make up and I think it was better she went on down the road and I went on about my life, you know, but I found a girl, a 21 year old girl in the personal section of free buy sell trade anything dot com I put an ad on there that I was looking for a young girl to go to church and pray with me and a young Caucasian girl answered the ad and uh, we're I, we make love four or five times a day. I've impregnated her. Our love is great and we're engaged to be married and I really you know at my age I, I sowed all my oats I want to sow except I, w I want to marry her, our love is great, everything is going good and she's always asking me, do you love me anymore, when you coming back, where you going, who you been talking to, you know, I don't mind answering those questions, there was a time in my life where I didn't want to answer those questions, you know, I just felt like that I, I didn't want to answer, but now and, you know, we're deeply in love with each other and everything is going great. If anybody has any criticisms or anything you want to say about my show, maybe you like my show, maybe you don't, please type it underneath. And if anybody wants to look at any more of my shows here on YouTube, you can type in Rodney Dangerfield Cousin and see all of my shows. And that's going to be a wrap for today. God bless everybody.